So before this video starts, I do want to say I also have a membership program. For five bucks a month, you get custom emojis to use in the comment section, and you also get loyalty badges to show how loyal you are to my YouTube channel. So if you do have the money, I would really appreciate the support from my YouTube channel. This will really help me to support to keep making these kinds of videos. And every single one who buys a membership, I will comment your name in the video descriptions, and your name will be listed there as long as you keep buying the membership to show how thankful I am for everybody to keep buying the membership. And of course, no bad names. If you have a bad name, your name is not going to be there. So that's it. And now let's get back to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be rating official content creators intro videos. For those who don't know, we actually got asked by Gertopia official if we could join their Halloween live stream featuring our social media. Like, for example, mine is the YouTube channel, so I would be featuring my YouTube channel and basically promoting why you should basically watch my YouTube channel. And all of these will be rated based on what I think and my opinion only. I will say I have literally against nobody that I'm sh showing in this video. And yeah, and I just want you to know if you guys, if you do agree with me, let me know in the comments down below. If not, that's fine, but this is just my opinion. And yeah, let's just pretty much start with the video let's start so first things first we got ourselves a tier list we got ourselves goaded good mid below mid and shouldn't exist we got ourselves some five categories so i think you can understand how these categories basically work so let's pretty much start with the halloween live stream the first things we're gonna rate are actually the intros that everybody did so basically, I will not read the criteria that was needed for these intro videos. That these are short videos, 15 to 30 seconds. And we request where we introduce ourselves and what contents do we do and ask the audience to follow your page. So this is what was asked to be showcased in the video. So let's start with the intros. So first, we'll be showing the uh, intro videos that they created, right? Oh, yes, yes. We will. We showed this earlier, but we want to showcase it again. So please watch our content creators' intro videos. Yes, here you go, chat. So that basically was VU's intro and I want to put VU in actually good and I'm going to explain why. First of all, I love VU's intro. I think it is so well thought of. Basically, he followed the criteria that was asked for, which is a short video explaining who are you and what you do and what is your content and where to find your content. He followed all of the requirements for it. And then he also did like a little funny skit for it where he got like a moderator to act like VU. And I love that because that is very creative. So I'm going to, that's why I'm going to put VU in good is because I really liked his video. But I do want to say, Topia's music video was a bit loud, but other than that, I really liked Vu's video and I think it's a great video. Hey, I'm Elizabeth. I'm an official content creator for Gertopia. I've been playing this game for over 10 years and creating YouTube videos about it for the last 7 years. If you're tired of content creators filled with clickbait and sped up gameplay and videos are dragged out to at least 10 minutes just to sell you something, I've got you covered. I focus on providing genuine valuable content for my fans, upload videos once a week featuring tips on how to profit, how to prepare for upcoming events, and all the new info about the newest updates in Gertopia. And I also do collaborations with other awesome Gertopia content creators. If that sounds like your kind of content, check out my YouTube channel Elizabeth GT and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like while you are there. We are almost at 4k subscribers. I love my so video. I, I think so first of all it's me so i'm a bit biased here but i think i followed like all the rules it's basically who i am what do i do and where, where to follow my content and you know what kind of content i make i think i followed all the rules very greatly but what i do want to say is that i also gave like a reason which is like that like this is the creative part in my videos because i gave you a reason why you should pick me out of everybody 
like i just gave you a reason so i because this is what i think what separates me from like other content creators that might exist in the gertopia community so this is why i think my video was also a great video do i think my video was the best one out of all the videos that exist no but do i think my video was good as well yes so that's why i'm also putting myself in the good category because i think my videos is great that's basically it for my video hey gertopians it's tt queen one of the official gertopia content creators join me for interactive live streams where we chat about the gertopia market profit methods and world building plus don't miss out on our fun set contests and exciting giveaways be sure to check and follow me on twitch and my socials at tt queen see you guys there Okay, so this was TXT Queen's intro. I do want to say, I like her intro because she basically does what you ask for. She she says who she is, what does she do content about, and where to find her content. She gives everything you need to know. But I will say, I think the music is, again, way too loud. So far, this is the loudest video I've heard out of all the videos so far. So I think that's a huge minus because at least for Vu and me i could actually hear the intro despite the fact for Vu's music being a bit too loud but for txc's it is just way too loud and i can barely hear her despite the fact that she followed everything she asked for but the music was too loud but at the same time there is no shock factor there's nothing that makes me want to rewatch the video again like it's like, like something unique something different like why should i watch your specific video out of everybody else's so i'm gonna put txc in mid even though she did follow the criteria there is just no shock factor that makes me want to rewatch the video over and over again but that's about txc queen yo everyone Welcome back with me, Yutsuhon. I'm the one of CC from TikTok. I was opening a service world called Sewa Jasa and also I'm owning a fan spot world. I usually make content about profit tips and some funny things that are related to Grotopia. If you'd like to join me and follow me, just search my name Yutsuhon as like my grow ID. And see you then. All right, so now we're gonna talk about Yutsuhon. And I have a lot to say on Yutsuhon. First things first, I do want to say I have nothing against Yutsuhon before I say this. But there are just things that need to be said. Okay, so the first things first, Yutsuhon, of course, from watching the video, I can tell the video is just in bad English. I'm not gonna blame them though, that is completely okay. But that is still a bit of a minus that, you know, it is not perfect English. And I can easily watch the video and I can tell that the English is bad. But it's not a huge bad thing, but like it's a minus. It's, it's just like a huge minus thing that i will remove because i can tell it's just bad english second thing i will say is the number one thing that just is like why do you need to put that in a video is he's promoting his vent spot and his uh, in his service world and that is something that i truly believe is something you don't need to put in that video and i'm gonna explain why you basically used this intro video that was giving you an opportunity to promote your social media to give you a chance to get more followers and more subs and you and you took this chance to make an intro video but also put in a vent spot and a service world promotion that is something i just really think that is not needed to promote because this is more now feels like a more of like a not an actual like a video appreciation of our like of our content creators like our official content creators i feel like this is more of like an ad and this is something that i truly believe that was not needed to be in the video because i just feel like i'm watching an ad and not an intro video explaining to your channel so i just really think that shouldn't exist and that is like a huge con in your video that i do not like is you promoting your event spot in your event service because it's just not needed a little minus for the fact that it's bad english a huge minus because i'm watching the ad i'm watching the video and it feels like an ad and the, other than that i can't blame you you did do what they asked for which is you said who you are what content you do and where you promote it for and you did try something different and what you did different was promote your vent spot and your service world but that did not help you in the video that actually made the video turn it into the worst so that's why i think your intro video shouldn't exist hello and 
Welcome back. My name is Creano, and I'm an official content creator and I make Grotopian YouTube videos. I make Grotopian videos on my YouTube channel, iCreatorGT, and I make epic videos like these. Roll the clips. Whoa, my game is freezing. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm kind of craving for some Taco Bell. Bro, I'm laggy. Fire wand, OP. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. Nice. That's a yes for me. All right, so I'm gonna rate now Prino's intro. First of all, Crino is the most inactive person I've known. Crino, if you're watching this video, I am so shocked. I just want to say, like, no hate to Crino whatsoever, but he's the most inactive of Shokan Crater that I know who is still, like, kind of active, but at the same time, not active at all. But I will say, if you're following the criteria, he did everything that was needed to do for the intro video. He explained who he is, he explained what kind of videos he does, and he explained, like, he showed, like, examples of kind of videos he does, and he showed where to find his content. So he did all three categories that was asked for for the intro video. But I will say one huge thing that just is, like doesn't make me like the video is because the content he uses is like one or two years old i really feel like if you're making a video like in the halloween you know i feel like it should be content that was made this year but i really feel like the content he showed in the video is like over a year ago or two years ago because i know Krino hasn't uploaded in a very long time so i think it's something that is a huge minus. At least for me it is. So I'm going to put Crino in below mid. Hello everyone. My name is Tiffania 72 You can just call me Tiff. I'm from Indonesia. I like creating fun content like profit tips and trick, gacha, set challenge, and many more. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Thank you. Have a nice day everyone. Bye-bye. All right, so now I'm going to rate Tiffany's intro. First of all, I want to say Tiffany also followed all the regulations. Who I am, what content do I do, and where to find my content. Pretty much did all the, the things that was asked for. I do think the music is a bit, just a little bit too loud. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with Tiffany's video. And I like her video. I think it's very nice. I also think Tiffany is very nice because at the end of the video, she says, Oh, everybody have a nice day. I think that is so nice of Tiffany. So I like Tiffany's video. But the thing I will say, there is just no shock factor to Tiffany. Like there is just no shock factor. Like the video is nice. She does what she asks for. And it's, uh, and it's just a very nice video, you know. But there is just no shock factor that would make me want to watch the video over and over again. It's just like an okay video, which is why I'm going to put Tiffany in mid. I like her video. It's just there is just no shock factor in there. So, I want to ask, I stream GT on Twitch. Things I do on stream are like... Uh, things has changed. Yo! So, yeah. Hope I'll see you there. Alright. So, Wantas, same thing. He followed all the criteria. He did who he is, what is his content, what kind of content he does, and like the thing he did that shows like his what explains what kind of content he does he showed like short clips from his streams because he's a streamer on twitch and maybe i am just super biased but i don't think so i think wantas's like intro video is encoded but guys listen listen to me the way he made like the video is played is like it's just a 10 out of 10 he exceeded all the three factors that was needed and then he made short clips with like funny sounds and like funny like music and just makes the video very interesting and makes me want to watch the video over and over again just to see those clips again and that's why i think his video is goaded because i think it is very well done and their shock factor which are the short clips with all the music and noise effects that makes me want to watch the video over and over again which is why i think one has the video <laughs>
All right, so I just watched Insomnic Contents. So the thing about Insomnic Content, did he say who he is? Yes. Uh, what kind of content he does? No, but he showed short clips. And then he also did the, like, uh, just follow my, like, and just fo follow my TikTok account. So the thing about Insomnic videos, he did something, like, similar to Wantaz and Cradle. Is you just show, like, short five-second clips of what you basically do on your TikTok channel. Basically, since Insomnic's from TikTok, it's from TikTok. But the thing is, I would have loved to hear about more about what Insomnic actually does in the video. Like, let's say, oh, I do funny content and then show, like, clips. You know, something like that. I would have liked to see more talking from Insonic. I also do think the noise... I do also think the music is a bit too loud. And also, at the same time, I just feel like I watched a TikTok. And what do I mean, like, I watched a TikTok is... Is Insonic a TikTok content creator? Yes. But do I feel like I'm watching an introduction video for his intro kind of it's because he shows a lot of a lot of five second clips but it's just like a lot of tiktok audios and like i don't know i would have liked to see more talking than just like you know like just like tiktok music videos he did follow the criteria but for me it looks like more of a, like a regular tiktok video than an intro so i will also put insomnic in below mid All right, of course, the last person who I've shown right now is Zykulu. And I think anyone who watched that video is also without a question putting Zykulu in Goaded as well. It's because same thing with Wantas. They do all the three criteria that was asked for. And Zykulu gives a lot of shock factor. Same thing like Wantas. So I would watch Zykulu's and Wantas video over and over again. Just because it's like funny sounds, funny music. And there's basically a lot of shock factor which makes me want to watch the video over and over again. And that's why I think Zykulu is in a coded category, and I think a lot of people would agree with me, at least from what I think, because I can watch the video over and over again. It gives me a lot of shock factor, and I just look at the video, and I'm like, oh my god, that is such a good video. Same thing with Wanda's. Even though at the end of the day, out of all of these, right now that I've rated all of these uh, official content creators' intros, I do want to say I like everybody's intro. Basically, at the end of this video, I would want to repeat once again is I don't hate any official content creator. I do like everybody, but I just wanted to share my opinion. Who really does have the best intro, but that is pretty much it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also want you guys to comment down below if you guys agree with my opinion about the intros or about the Halloween sets. Be sure to comment down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to subscribe as well for more videos like this. Be sure to like the video so you guys enjoyed these videos. And yeah, comment down below what you thought of this video. See you guys next time. Goodbye. So in every video, if you don't know, I do an item giveaway. And if you want to win an item, all you got to do is come to the world called Elite Code. Go to the right side, read all the signs and rules, how to enter. And you pretty much just have to do put your girl ID and your world name. In every single video, you have a chance to win a panda mask and a panda body. So the person who won last time is on the screen right now. And that is really it. And now let's get back to the video.